Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, which is in fact the Legion Sports Fest complete competitors list, including my predictions, we have a quick announcement regarding this man here, Indian superstar Sunit Jadhav. I just posted a physique update of him the other day, he just made the announcement just yesterday that he will in fact be competing October 30th. At the Shiru Classic, if I'm not mistaken, and I am excited about this. Now, whether he is doing 212 or Classic is not clear at this time. I assume they're waiting for how much he's going to be weighing, things of that nature. Maybe he's close to the Classic Physique Division weight limits. So if he can make that, I, I, I guess he's going to choose to go into, the, into that division. But I guess we will have to wait and uh, play the waiting game. And next up, of course, is your complete competitors list. This weekend's Legion Sports Fest. This is going to be a good show. Now take a look at the list. Peruse it, if you will. Familiarize with it. Feel that it is real. Because I am going to list these guys off pretty quick. And then I'll give you my predictions. Tony O'Burton, I mean, this guy got third at the Cali Pro most recently, and no time to talk about it. Jamie Christian, he's next on the list. He got third also at the Yamamoto France. Next guy, Stan de la Longo, the Stanimal. He got seventh at this same show just last year. No time to waste. Rafael de Real, he, uh... I haven't seen him in a little, little while. I don't think I don't think I've ever seen this guy before. Next dude, no time to waste. Stephen Frazier. I remember he got ripped off last year's Indie Pro. He got tenth. Awesome peaks. Next guy, Aaron Goulet. Goulet. He got fourth at the Toronto Pro just last year. Next guy, Carlos Rodriguez. Don't have a picture of him. Here is Kenneth Jackson. He uh, competed last year. The same show. He got ninth. Here is Eric Langless, and he competed at the 2020 Chicago Pro, where he got 11th. Here's Jojo Niforo. Could be t -foro. Could be a silent N. Might be a silent T. Who knows? Jojo knows. He got 16th at the 2019 New York Pro. Haven't seen him in a while. George Trejo Rees. 2020 Tampa Pro, he got 12th, good physique. Carlos Longoria. Now this guy has an impeccable physique, but no time to talk. He gets 7th at the Texas. This dude here, we all know who he is. He's Justin Rodriguez. He got 2nd at the Boston Pro. Pavel Vashiriko. He is the Russian man. He won the uh, 2019 Russian Championships, I believe. That's where he got his pro card, I think. So we haven't seen him since he uh, turned pro. Todd Whiting. Todd Whiting. 2020 Kuklo Classic. He was at the Kuko Cl Kuklo Classic. That's a tough one. Anyway, that's your competitors list, guys. Now, my predictions. I decided on a top four. A top four prediction list. And as you can see, we have Justin Rodriguez and Jamie, Jamie the Giant. He must be 12 feet tall in this picture. Well, anyway, he is huge. He's a mastodon for sure. Him, <laughs> him and Justin Rodriguez in the center there. If Justin Rodriguez can keep everything under control, you guys understand what I'm saying? saying? If he can keep everything under control, it should be a win for him. I mean, this guy has victories over Samson Douda, Steve Kuklo, a bunch of people. So I have him winning the show to take the anticipation out of this one. And I have Jamie the Giant battling it out with second place. So Jamie in second. We have Tony O'Burton. He, he got second at the Chicago, too. So he uh, he's good. Antoine Vaillant, I believe, won that event. But yeah, he, he, I'm going to have him in third, unfortunately, for you Tony O'Burton fans. I mean, he is looking awesome on his Instagram, things of that nature. But I just don't see him being able to defeat this big dry giant. And that's what he is. Great big dry giant. And I have Carlos Longoria 
shocking the rest of the field and bringing, uh, bringing the best package that he has ever brought to the bodybuilding stage. So yeah, that is my top four predictions. And there is also another show, the Tsunami to Tsunami. I think that's a silent T. Letters should not be silenced. It's not right. But yeah, the Tsunami Nutrition Pro. And I just wanted to show you guys this real quick because Jamie the Giant says he's competing here. But it's, you know, it's the same weekend, things of that nature. He So from what I understand, guys, and it was a little bit confusing, he is not competing here. But Mark Hector is. But we'll be doing a prediction list on this tomorrow. So forget what you've seen here. And we will finish this one up with a recent guest posing, I guess a physique update on Quentin Uriah, Quint Beastwood, if you will. And it is a progress report. Like I said, guys, he ta he's taking some time off to grow, which is a smart move. We'll just run through these shots here. And like I said before, we're going to be keeping a close eye on him. We're going to be posting some physique, gradual physique changes and this guy is looking so thick. He is one big, thick, individual Canadian too, eh? Yeah, and we will hope to see a gradual increase in lat insertion thickness and back size. Because other than the back, this guy's pretty much perfect. And it's not like to say he has a weak back. Condition, I mean, if he stays in this condition, oh, I love this pose too. Yeah, if he stays in this type of condition and just builds muscle on there, oh, I mean, my goodness, this guy could be the next big thing. I mean, everybody's talking about your Nick Walkers, even your things of that nature. But I think by this time next year, people will be talking about Quint Beastwood, Quentin Uriah. Look at the structure, guys. Aesthetics, size, he has it all, including calves. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a fantastic day.